Here with City Farmhouse Antiques, and I am here this week with the find of the week. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Mata Ortiz pottery. And this is a beautiful piece of Mata Ortiz pottery that I'm actually in the process of shipping out to Beverly Hills this morning. But these were these pieces um, were actually kind of invented by the artist Juan Quesada. Um, on the high plains of Chihuahua in northern Mexico, about 150 miles from the Arizona-New Mexico borders. And really, he taught himself how to make this pottery based on the adobe runes of the prehistoric Casas Grandes culture. And so when he saw some of these artifacts, he taught himself how to work with the clay, work with... Um, the colors and he kind of invented this pottery and then back in 1976 uh, Spencer McCollum an American anthropologist actually found some of Juan's pieces in a curio shop in New Mexico and so he wanted to meet him and and find the artist himself and so he really made his pieces famous and since then there have been more pieces that have been developed here's what you call an effigy pot um, of an owl uh, here's a canteen that's done in a different style that you can see here. I mean, and look at all the attention to detail. And what I like about this piece is that it actually comes with a photograph from the artist in Mexico that made it while he was making this piece, which is a neat little thing when you are keeping collectible pottery. These are effigy pieces in a metallic graphite finish that are black and you'll notice that the pieces are going to all be signed on the bottom by the different artists and here's another effigy pot um, that's made by another artist and so really there's there's hundreds of potters now um, that make all different kinds of pieces but they become quite collectible depending upon what style uh, you like um, and so I wanted to share with you a little bit about Mata Ortiz pottery because it's unique to our neck of the woods and um, give you a little history behind it and so that is our find of the week I'll let you see this whole pot and it's all of its glory it is just magnificent and one other thing you want to be real careful with finishes like this, they're so delicate and you can see the detail. You wanna make sure that you don't let any abrasive close to it. I don't even put paper next to it. Tissue paper may be okay, but they even use when you're putting these pots on something. Here you can see where um, a tissue piece has been made because they don't always have a base like this one. And so to keep the bottom from scratching, you wanna sit them up on something or you can see here, this even has like a felt base that you can make to protect it from this iron base. So that's our find of the week. Be sure and check us out on Facebook and go give us a like and um, check us out on our website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com where we have more than just antiques.